guys, it's Maya. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I would take my digital notes. I'm just going to be showing you guys the way I would possibly write them out and just give you guys some tips if you guys are a beginner at digital notes. So like I said, if you are a beginner on your digital note taking, I am going to be helping you out with that just by doing the simplest things. I promise you guys that this video is going to be as simple as I possibly can make it. So if you guys just want to know how I take my digital note taking, then I suggest you keep on watching. So of course for my tools, you guys already know the first one is my HP stylus. I absolutely am in love with this stylus. It has an amazing precision point that I absolutely love to write with. It's amazing. Finally, I do use my HP Spectre X360 2-in-1 laptop. You guys know how obsessed I am with this thing. Literally one of the best purchases I've ever made in my life. By the way, thank you so much for I believe it's 967 views on my HP Spectre X360 2-in-1 laptop review. I honestly appreciate you guys' support. Yes, I will be doing more technology videos, but again, I feel like this is a laptop that every student, especially who is a Windows lover, should have. After reviewing so many good digital note-taking apps, I felt like OneNote was my favorite. OneNote is a really, really good application for actually digital note-taking and it is free. It is good for PC and for MacBook, so that is one of the good advantages about it. Another thing that I absolutely love about Microsoft OneNote is that you can also create as many notebooks as you want for your classes and within each notebook you can set the color of the notebook and you can have different tabs to keep everything organized. So before anything, I honestly feel like it is important for me to show you guys what tools I use. I basically use an eraser, a pencil, but mostly I am a person who likes to write with pen, especially when it comes to digital note taking. So I have black, I have blue, I have green, and I have all my other highlighters. Mainly in this video, I'm not going to be using all of them because I also like to use OneNote for personal information. I like to use it for lists or even sometimes I like to take my church notes on there. So not all of the colors are going to be used in this digital note taking video. So I really do honestly recommend for you guys to have a good color coordination on how you're going to take your notes. But the next thing that is very important to me, especially me, is that I need to change the view of my paper. I always like to use college ruled paper, especially when writing digital notes so I can be a little bit more organized and nothing is crooked. Next, I like to type out my titles. I only type out my titles so I can just feel a little bit more organized and I actually do feel a little bit more organized so I can tell what is what. After that, I mostly just like to highlight my titles. If you guys saw my previous video, you guys know that I always like to highlight my titles like this. I did actually get this idea from an amazing YouTuber. Her name is Revesign. She makes an amazing aesthetic note-taking videos, which I absolutely love. So this actually does make me feel a little bit more organized. Okay, now before anything, my instructor, she does like to give us an introduction paragraph on what we're going to be talking about today. And I really do love that my professor does this because it helps me feel a little bit more organized with my notes. So as a way of saying I don't have to scramble through the whole thing to see what my notes are about, I can just look at the introduction and now I would know what my notes or what we were talking about today. Which I think you guys should do even if your teacher, your professor does not do that for you guys. Do it for yourself. You'll feel a little bit more organized. So I just use my green pen to write the word introduction and I just write out the rest of the introduction with black pen. After I write down my introduction, I like to make a 3D box around my introduction just to make it a little bit more nicer. The way I do that, I just use the ruler in OneNote and just draw out a perfect box because that ruler does make your boxes amazing, perfectly straight. Finally, I just like to add the green highlighter all the way on the bottom just to give it that 3D effect. So now in every lecture, my teacher always likes to give us PowerPoints with subtitles. Every slide has a different subtitle. So I write my first subtitle and I always like to write a little arrow just to show where the information is going to go of that specific subtitle. 
and I'm just writing a dot where I would put the important information that comes from the slide. Technically, I do like to use a lot of symbols to simplify what I am writing down, what is coming from the PowerPoint, and sometimes I do like to use stars when it comes to writing me my own personal information. Lastly, I take the purple highlighter and I just highlight my subtitles. Now, I do like to write additional information in purple, like such as, again, another different way of saying the word or any important information that might be on the test. I love to put it in purple so it can stand out from the other information. And in the end, I always like to add either a little cloud around it or squares or shapes just so it can pop out. Just keep in mind, guys, that I am a visual learner, okay? So this is why it has a lot of shapes and colors. Since this is notes from art class, my professor does like to give slides on actual artists' paintings. So the first thing I like to do is actually write the name of the artists, and then I like to write the name of the piece. And then I write my personal information that I think is important, especially the ones that come from the slides. So it's very, very helpful to tell the difference between the name of the portrait and the name of the artist. So me being the visual learner that I am, I love to add pictures on my digital notes. So I just search up the piece and I just add it to my notes. And what I like to do just to keep it fun and stuff like that, I go back with the Microsoft ruler and I just add a little drawing of a canvas as if it were framed. But again, this is up to you. I like to do this because, I mean, I like to make my notes really fun because, again, I am a visual learner. So it just helps me. It makes my notes feel a little bit fun. So maybe it would be the same thing for you. Of course, any simple design, even if you're an artist, go for it. Make a freaking crazy canvas around the picture. Just do it so you can feel good about it. So lastly, I just wanted to show you guys how I would, again, take these notes one more time to show you another example. And I really do love to take my notes as simple as I possibly can. Trust me when I say I am trying to practice on how to take those aesthetic looking notes because those are freaking awesome. I would feel so motivated to study every day. But yeah, this is just another example of a piece. And I think this was my favorite one in today's lecture. I absolutely love it. I don't know, just looking at the painting, it just describes something that is amazing. If you guys can leave it in the comments, what do you think it would describe that would be amazing just to talk about art. I believe art is such an amazing subject and you guys should believe that too. It's my personal opinion. And lastly, of course, I just highlight the subtitles, even if it's about artists and the pieces. Believe it or not, guys, I'm just going to leave it at that because it's literally that simple. Like how I told you guys before, this is how I would take my digital note taking if it was for even history. Maybe science would be something different, but unfortunately right now I am not taking any science classes. I'm only taking math and I'm only taking art. So I did show you guys in the previous video of my math notes on how I take them. So please make sure you go check out that video. And that is it for today's video, guys. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And again, I really do appreciate your guys' support. Thank you so much for all the sweet messages you guys have been sending me so far. You guys don't know how happy it actually makes me feel. And again, guys, just don't give up on school. I know it's really hard right now, especially with this pandemic. You're not the only one struggling, so just keep your head high. And again, please make sure that you are just going and giving your best at it. So I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.